Okay, so here's a little live, real-life problem-solving demonstration of the Fluke 9010A. Um, basically, the unit in test is an Atari video pinball. Um, what's happening is it's getting RAM failures. So right now it's connected up to the, uh, it's hard to see here, but it's connected up to the board. The board is energized using the 6502 pod. Um, if I do a RAM test, so I hit RAM short. Um, on this board, the RAM is from 0000, 000, 000 to uh, 01FF, so I'm going to hit 000, enter, 01FF, and then enter. And what you're seeing here is it's saying rewrite error at 000, 000, 000 and the BTS means bits, and the FF is what bits is bad. Now you figure um, the RAM stores information in a word, which is 8 bits. Um, so what the FF means is it's a binary representation of which actual bits, you know, of which of the eight are bad. Um, the two Fs basically mean all the bits are bad. So, you know, the first F is the first four bits, the second F is the second four bits. So that means that it can't write at all, or at least it's not reading right. Um, in this case, there is no virtual RAM, so this is to be expected, but it actually had the exact same problem even with the RAM in it so I'm gonna hit stop and uh, so the uh, the problem is why is the RAM not working right and the, what I found was that the right enable line on the RAM seemed to be stuck high so I have an HP logic comparator um, connected to the 74LS32 that provides the um, right enable line for the RAM, which you can see that's turned on right now. It's not showing any problem because the RAM is not being accessed. Um, so if I uh, come back here and I try to do um, a write, so I'm going to hit write and I'm going to write at 0000, zero, zero, zero since it's the beginning of the RAM. Enter and what do I want to write? It doesn't matter. I could put anything, but in this case, I'll just do two F's and hit enter. And so it did that. But note that right now there's nothing, you know, in normal scenario this would actually be no lights and it would look exactly the way it was if this thing was truly working. So while I'm showing you this, I'm going to hit repeat on the unit. And you've seen that number three flashed, which means that there was a difference between the known good chip and the chip that's on the board. Um, if I hit loop on the unit, you see the number three light stays on solid and what that means is um, it's constantly it's basically looping right now it's trying to you know as you can see the looping light is blinking and it's writing it's trying to write to the RAM which means that the right enable line should be toggling on and off um, in this case on this particular chip it's stuck high I think and uh, as you can see, the difference between the chip on the board and the chip in my test socket is showing that the number three line is definitely different, meaning the one on the board is stuck high, the one on the uh, unit should be toggling. And to prove that, I'm actually going to take my uh, probe and we're going to go on pin three. So on my probe, you could see... Um, I'm going to do pins 1 and pins 2, which are the two inputs, as you can see they're toggling. And pin 3, which on this chip is toggling, whereas on the chip on the board is not. And I'll show you that by putting it on the uh, read-write line. This is hard to see, but bear in mind. And you can see I'm on the read-write line of the RAM and there is no toggling going on. And that's pin 3 of the chip on the board. So that tells me that this particular chip is 74LS32 at E2 on the Atari video pinball board is bad. So I'm going to take it home or basically yank it out and uh, pop in a new one.